Hello everybody, Dawn Master here. So I've had a few times people wanted a review on mid-length sockets, Mac preferably, and uh, we're going to do a comparison video here, just my opinions um, between uh, the snap-on mid-length sockets and the Mac mid-length sockets. Now, for 3H drive I only have impact for mid-lengths. Quarter drive, I only have chrome mid lengths, and that would be snap on only in chrome for a quarter drive, and chrome only for a quarter drive. Uh, but, anyways, um, I bought these mid lengths first, uh, they're a couple years old, and uh, it's a SAE snap on set, and it goes uh, from I believe it's uh, 5 sixteenths. The snap-on ones are kind of difficult to read, but uh, yeah, 5 sixteenths. All the way up to, I believe it's 7 eighths. Yeah, 7 eighths. And um, so snap-on, they don't do the easy insert ends on their impacts. I don't know why. Uh, here's another one and they like to wall her out and that's mainly because they're so dang soft and um, I've only bought two sets of uh, snap-on impact sockets in my life this is the second set I ever bought and I'm done buying their impact sockets mainly because they're so soft now yeah they have a lifetime warranty but I don't want to have to warranty these things out all the time. Um, I've had to warranty out this 9 16 uh, This is the second one. And as you can see, it, they're so soft. And they just... They wear out. Look at that end. It's just beat out. Um, so, I'm not a fan of them. You know, here's a 3 8 I mean, they do work, but I don't think they're worth the money. Um, there's a three-quarter. Look at that. Just beat to hell. And that's just running it, running them on like my DeWalt 3 8 impact, mainly. I don't have an error anymore, 3 8 I uh, gave it to a younger guy, my Ingrussell Rand, I've had for years. I, do, I don't run it anymore, but they're okay. But my favorite impact sockets by far are Mac USA and this is the metric full set no skips of 3H drive from 8 millimeter see that nice indentations you can read it easily Mac USA so their metrics have this kind of knurling here and their standards don't 8 millimeter all the way up no skips to 24 millimeter and easy insert ends on these much stronger material they are impact grade so they are a little soft so they do waller out over time but I've noticed they don't waller out you know as fast as these guys do um, like that but as you can see comparing the snap-on to the Mac in length. Oh, well, this one's a little bit bigger. So let's compare an 11 16 or 13 16 to my bad. We're going to compare, yeah, 13 16 to a 22. I'll just go like this. So the Mac is a little bit deeper, and they call them intermediate. They don't call them mid-length for Mac. So the Macs are a little bit deeper, and the broaching on the Macs, uh, unfortunately, is a little bit deeper than the Snap-on, um, which I like the broaching a little bit higher up like that. Helps starting nuts and whatnot. Um, as you go down, 
to like this uh, 12 millimeter, your broaching isn't quite as deep. And if you see here on this 24, the broaching is all the way down in. So that's interesting, but I've never had issues with this one. So as you go to smaller sizes, the broaching is higher up. So I haven't really ran into issues with that. Um, but let's see the most worn one I probably use the most is probably this 15. And um, as you can see, they just hold up really good. They have the Mac drive is what they call their version of the flank drive so flank drive and then mac drive so there you go i think the flank drive is a little bit more aggressive with how it cuts out in there on the corners the off corner loading design if you want to get more technical so there's a mac you can see that end it's not too beat up easy insert end they're easier to put on quicker to put on in my opinion versus the snap-on and you can see the snap-ons broaching I mean uh, snap-on flank drive they're easy or they're uh, off corner loading design I think that's some PTFE some pipe dope but I think these almost have too much flank drive in there in my opinion they have too much slop you know, it gets to a point where they're too sloppy. And I like the Max. They don't bounce around as much. They hold up better. That's just my opinion. Some other people might think different. But if you own Mac, Impact USA, and Snap-on USA Impact sockets, I sure hope you notice a difference. But these work better. These Macs, they just do. They hold up way better. And Mac offers a smaller set like this that goes from I believe it's 13 millimeter or 12 millimeter up to I think 19. I accidentally almost ordered that set because I was in a hurry and then I realized the part number I gave him was wrong so I texted him and gave him the part number of this one and unfortunately I don't think Mac puts their part numbers on these. They put them on the outside because this came in a cellophane wrapped and had a sticker on it. I believe there is a number somewhere on here, but it's the uh, the tin. You'll see here. So it's XT47Y. That's, I believe, the part number for the tray. So that probably doesn't mean much. And I really enjoy Max trays. A lot of people take them out and put them in uh, different organization techniques. Um, whenever I buy a set of sockets that come in this style tray, I keep them in this tray. I like the way it looks, but mainly I like the ease of um, use, um, mainly because it has this edge that's rolled over, as you can see. See it's rolled over? So you can hang these off the side or on the inside of your cart, and they stay put. It's nice. And there is enough clearance that if I wanted to, I could take these out and I could Put, mag put a magnetic strip inside here. I think I'm, I've been thinking about doing that. Let me know what you think. What's a good brand? I don't know who makes those. What brand is 3M maybe? Just to kind of keep them from juggling around when you throw in a tool bag. That's the only thing I've noticed with these. You throw them in a tool bag and this goes off the side and then they, they start falling out. But um my opinion the max are are by far better they're stronger they're not quite as soft they're soft they have enough softness for impact grade so they don't shatter i've never had to warranty one of these out um, and i've had to warranty one or two of these out um you know with not a whole lot of use and they're just wearing out um another option you can go but they don't offer mid-length is the precision torque impact sockets so i have a set here so these are the precision torque um sae deep length uh nice labeling on them you know they do stamp them which is nice they stamp the part number pt precision torque and this is their taiwan their midline mid mid grade impact sockets and then they have their uh, lowest priced sockets that are also Taiwan. They're the experts. 
the experts seem to do pretty good but I'm not a fan of the broaching and I'm not a fan of uh, I don't know they're not terrible I have I have a lot of expert stuff and it's it seems to hold up but I haven't been buying it as much often I've been trying to stick with the USA Mac it just seems like I'm more satisfied in the long run um, but if you're trying to save a hundred bucks or whatever you can get these sets um, precision torque you can get their uh, their metric deeps 3h drive or shallows that go up to 22 or 24 they go from eight it's a set about this size and shallows or deeps and uh, for a fraction of the cost of these they just won't be mid-length but they hold up good and they have a different design that they use and I haven't had any issues with them even with the heavily used uh, three-quarter you can see these markings up here I think that's laser etched and so what they do on these the precision torque is they have some cutouts in there almost like the flank drive in their snap-on wrenches and they put two cutouts on the inside next to the corner and then they don't have as much of the Mac drive feature on the inside there they do have a little bit but not quite as much as you can see but I haven't had a single issue with any of these and I haven't had to warranty any of them so that's good and they have easy insert ends and they hold up they're not too soft so I would even buy these precision torque Mac impact sockets over the USA snap-on impact sockets in my opinion I think they're better and I think you're getting more for your money um, I also have the shallow set um, I lost the three-quarter unfortunately the shallow I bought these two at the same time the shallow only goes up to three-quarter it doesn't go all the way up to seven eighths so when you buy the deeps you get the two extra 13 sixteenths and seven eighths I don't know why they did that my dealer frustrates him too but I lost the three-quarter um, I screwed up and left it on the uh, on the footstep on my F-350 after doing some work and I drove down the road and I heard it fall off pulled over couldn't find it anywhere on the side of the road so I need to order that three-quarter but you can see some of these I've used quite a bit um, this one actually is pretty worn down it probably might need to be warrantied some of these smaller sizes on 3 8 drive they really get hammered but um, not as bad as the snap-ons they hold up you can see this is a half inch and uh, it's still still going it's got a little bit of wear in there but you know it still fits on the old Mac uh, hard handle this is one of my favorite ratchets right here flex head 8 inch comfort grip hard handle and you see that just goes right on really nice you got your snap-on uh, not really an easy insert end all battered up and uh, they go on too but not as quick I guess when you're in a hurry the easy insert ends I like better how they chamfer that edge on the uh, Mac impact socket still because uh, you know they put that extra feature in there for you um, snap-on doesn't for some reason only on their impact sockets you know they gotta cheap out on that and then you got your good USA 22 21 my bad see that's been used quite a bit it's got some wear in there but it's not falling apart it's not looking like that you can see the wear difference I might be getting a little obsessive but these things they just they're too soft these snap-on ones are too soft and these ones just go on easier you see you put it on there and it lines right up and it'll go on this one it goes on too I guess it's so worn out it's kind of made its own chamfered edge but anyway enough rambling on uh, just a viewer suggestion about mid-length sockets he wanted a review on the Mac one so I figured I'd incorporate a couple others so uh, thanks for watching guys I appreciate 
uh, all the comments, all the great positive comments and feedback. Uh, so please like, comment, share, subscribe, and have a good one. Thanks for watching.